Hey guys, Havasulu out in beautiful Lake Havasu. Hey, we're out here checking out this brand new RV garage pool home for a client. Hang out, check it out too, and I'll talk to you in a minute. All right guys, this is 3114 Kiowa South. Brand new construction. Four bedroom, three bath pool home listed for one million ninety thousand. Also has some side RV boat type parking. So it looks like the garages are air conditioned. It's a little bit of a busy street. Got the high school down that road about a mile. You also have a vacant lot next door that will be built at some point. So let's go on in and check it out. Did a nice uh, glass panel garage door, some nice stack stone work in the front. Stamp concrete, eight foot glass interior door. All right guys, so this is a four bedroom, three bath pool home just completed. 2,470 square feet. Sits on a big 12,458 square foot lot. This has a casita, which would be the fourth bedroom. Nice big open living area. Fireplace with tile to ceiling. Tall ceilings, can lights. Plank tile floors. Again, this one was just listed for one million ninety. Has a real cool kitchen with uh, quartz tops, under cabinet lighting, nice uh, kitchen island with waterfall edges. Have a little pantry, stainless appliances. So they did the trowel down walls and ceilings, and they did like big, like five inch baseboards. So this is a split floor plan. So you have the master and guest bedrooms on different sides. Nice tall ceiling in the entryway. So on this side of the house, you have your indoor laundry, garage access, and your master. Pretty uh, decent sized master. All plank tile floors, slider out to the backyard pool area. All can lights in here as well. Little barn door entry slider into the master bath. Has dual sinks, dual mirrors, same upgraded uh, soft touch closed cabinets as the kitchen. Eight foot, four hinged interior doors in the whole place. Nice walk in shower with tile to the ceiling. They have a dual heads and a rain head. And you have a little linen closet, a toilet with its own door, and your walk-in closet. All right, let's go check out the other side of the house. So on the other side of the house, you have two more bedrooms. It's kind of in the middle of the house. A 
typical uh, bypass sliders for the closet. And you have your guest bath. You did tile to the ceiling. It's kind of cool that they kept going with the tile for like the backsplash wall on the sink. So you have the second guest bedroom at the front of the house. Decent size, big tall windows, can light, ceiling fans. And then there's also a walk-in closet on this one as well. So you have an indoor laundry, little utility sink on your garage door access. So you have a pretty cool garage setup. You have this two car side that's 22 feet deep, 22 feet wide with an eight foot insulated door. They did all the trowel down ceilings and walls in here as well, epoxy floors. So they have these double, double doors with some storage. And then this uh, is all open back here for your water, hot, water heater, soft water loop. So you also have a big, huge, double wide RV garage at 22 feet wide at the door opening, 70 feet deep, 14 foot door. Has two uh, mini split AC units and windows, LED lights, ceiling fans. So you have your hookups, water, 50 amp. I don't see a clean out. Double glass door out to the backyard pool area, and I'm assuming this goes to the casita, which we're going to go check out right now. So those are the glass uh, panel double doors out from the RV garage, and then you have your casita out here. So you have a slider out to the pool area and a eight foot glass panel entry door. Pretty big space in here. Has its own mini split AC, can lights, ceiling fans, same fit and finish as the rest of the house. It also has a walk-in closet with that barn door slider. And then this is a, the bathroom and door to the back of the RV garage right there. Has a nice walk-in shower with tile to the ceiling. All right, let's go check out the pool. So you have a pretty cool backyard setup. You have a little outdoor shower, full length covered back patio with ceiling fans, can lights, power for a TV, big wood beam. And in a really nice pool and spa with a nice size Baja shelf. I also have a little light shot off the backyard. Stamped concrete decking, and it looks like travertine coping. Looks like they did the uh, quartz finish on the pool plaster. Real nice size uh, spa. This does back to a wash to give you some uh, privacy and separation from your back neighbors. 
You have your propane tank and all your pool equipment, pool heater, your mini split condenser for the casita. All right, guys, have a Lou back again with you. Hope you enjoyed the quick little video walkthrough over here on Kiowa. Again, this one is just listed for $1,090,000. I'll put a direct link to the listing detail page right below this video so you guys get all the original listing pictures, current price, and availability. Of course, if you guys have any questions at all, always feel free to reach out to me. All my contact information is right below this video. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.